What's going on you guys? Welcome back to another My name is Jeff Reacts. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day and guys welcome back to Evanescence Mondays. Yes I know I probably said I was going to do something else for December but I quite frankly I'm having a human moment my brain. I don't remember what I was originally going to do for it but you know what I'm just going to go ahead we're going to do Evanescence Monday, especially for the 3,000 subscribers. Because I know a lot of you started out with me doing Evanescence reactions, so I kind of want to do this extra special for you guys. I will ask you guys what you want me to do for January, so if anybody was waiting for something in December, I am truly sorry for that. I'll get you in January, I promise. And in the meantime, I can still react to that band throughout December, so whatever you guys want, let me know in the comments below. But welcome back to Evanescence Monday. I hope you guys are having a great day, a great time, a great week, and if anything, I hope I could bring some sort of positive light to your day. As usual, if you are dealing with anything, anything at all, just remember that you are not alone. You are never alone. You are a warrior. You are a soldier. Stay strong. I believe in you, and if you need it, then comments are there for you to vent, or you can DM me personally on my socials, but you do got this. You're awesome. Brofist, high five, you got this guys you're awesome i believe in all of you you're unique in your own way you're you're awesome you got this we all got this now because i didn't really have anything officially planned for today and i am kind of doing it for you guys there's no specific request for this but i'm going to take another one off of palma's list you wanted me to check out amy lee and dave edgar doing birdcage on the bluegrass underground show i tried to look for the very specific year that you wanted me to do but it wasn't coming up. I mean, I, I, this may be actually the one you were talking about, but that specific year wasn't coming up. So I'm just going to do this if you don't mind. So without further ado, I will shut the front door, get into this. Didn't even know it was open, did we? Well, I opened it. Wrong door too. Again, I seriously thank you guys from the bottom of my heart for 3,000 subscribers. You are all amazing. Whether you started watching today or you've been watching for the longest time, you've been watching for a very long time. I love you all. Thank you all so much. You're all amazing. I love you guys. Pef Junkies. Let's get into this. So, uh, Amy's playing a hundred year old Celeste from France today. <laughs> yes. And uh, this is a song called Birdcage. you on the radio last night, left you broke in Buffalo Tuesday, summertime to clear your mind away, rest my head alone that bed that I made, all alone, the bird came. Now, dang, that's beautiful. Bitter pills and roadside thrills wake me. Fragile nights and canceled flights take me. To lipstick smiles and sequin tiles that make sweet. Your words of haste the bitter taste that breaks me. Okay, I have no idea exactly what kind of instrument Amy's playing. I know he technically named it, but I don't, I didn't even understand what he said. Amy Lee on the do do do. What? I don't know what she's playing, but I already like it. It's like some form of a piano. I can definitely tell that by the keys. It's definitely not exactly a piano, but it's like, like, like one, if you will. It's a piano in a sense, I guess. I don't know. And my, and may I say, dang, she looks good. I mean, she always looks good, but like, really, she looks good in this. And 
This is around the time like of that Paula Cole song, isn't it? When she was doing the red hair thing instead of the black hair. I like it. I like the style. Dude, their voices, they may not be going like, gg, 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 but like, I like that the, the tone they're doing for this. And I noticed that's on PBS. I see the PBS logo. They're doing something for kids. I don't know what exactly it is or what Burton Cage. We'll, we'll look that up, obviously, after the song. But I got to say, I like the tone. I really, Amy's voice, as usual, beautiful. She's good. I really, honestly, had no idea anything about Dave Egger other than the Find A Way uh, duet that they did recently. I shouldn't say recently. The reaction that I did recently from them. Still, so far, so good. Let's get back into it. Okay, so I don't want to sit here and be like, you know, this was that, that was that, and just kind of hide my emotions. I know this was supposed to be for a kid's thing, and to an extent, it was extremely, extremely sweet, and I don't want to put a damper on that and by any means. Amy was good, as always. No, nothing really bad about the song. I'll just say nothing bad about either of them. I guess really the only thing that I would say is just at one point or another, it kind of creeped me out. I didn't know exactly what they were trying to, I mean, not even like scary. It wasn't like scary, just a little strange. I don't know why it did. I just got a strange vibe off of it. I'm a little mean for that. I'm not going to lie. I'm definitely a little mean because it's a kid's thing for sure. But like, I just, just, I don't know. I just got this weird sense at the end. Not that they didn't both do a, a great job, like he's obviously a talented singer and, you know, playing the cello and Amy on the, they, like they both did a really, really good job. Like I have no problems with the song. I have no problems with the cover. They did it. They did a good job. I'll just keep saying it. They did a good job. Nothing overly extravagant, nothing da -da 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 -da, just soft, peaceful singing for this uh, PBS event. I'll applaud him. I'll applaud him. Like I said, I don't know. I can't even really fully explain it myself. Like I just watched it and I was like, why does that seem so weird to me? Like just at the ending there, just especially as Amy kind of just looked at him and laughed a little. I mean, I might have the wrong impression, but just the, even the way she looked at him in the end was like, what are you doing? It was kind of like a funny kind of creepy, if that makes any sense. But never mind. Don't worry about me. Let's look at the song. They did a good job, honestly. Who who originally? Do you have Palma? Do you have who originally sang it? Maybe not. And Google doesn't. Oh, Novo Amor. Okay, so this actually may be a first on my channel. I can't find lyrics. I can't find a meaning. I literally can't find anything on the song. I've tried to look up the original. I mean, it, it, the original showed for some person named Novo Amor, but I didn't see a birdcage at all in there, and I didn't see any of the lyrics that, like, even remotely sounded like the song that I just listened to. I mean, if it is, it is. It, it, I've never been more confused trying to find out about a song after listening to it. Okay, well, never mind. I'll let you guys uh, 
tell me in the comments. I'm sorry, I feel like I failed you uh, on this one. I, my bad, welcome back to Evanescence Monday. <laughs> Amy's still talented, I love her, and Dave's pretty good. They both did a really good job in whatever the song is supposed to be for. Very well done. I guess I'll just go ahead and be quiet. We'll end it from there. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Thank you so very much for watching. Please comment, like, and subscribe. And as always, remember, my name is Jeff. Pef Junkies Unite. And I'll see you guys tomorrow as always. Love, peace, and chicken grease. You guys have a fantastic day and a fantastic night.